Hi there guys, how's it going? My name's Dave, DLC Dave, and welcome back. We are at our first ever Champions League game. Well, not our first ever Champions League game, I'm sure Leeds have been in Europe before. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they have. But our first Champions League game for some time, and our first Champions League game with the uh, under me. So, yeah, it's been... <sighs> since that last episode where I got a little bit angry, I'm not going to lie, um, against Crystal Palace, that 4-0 hammering... Um, I do wonder how much of that was impacted by the fact that, um, you may remember, I, I accidentally skipped through the team talk. I can't imagine it make that much difference, but given that all the goals came in the first half, and then we just, well, we, we didn't do much better in the second half, but we didn't concede again after I got, got hold of them. I don't know whether that, I don't, I don't know, I don't really know what happened. Um, but it did raise some questions in my mind. You know, we did bounce back with a really good win against uh, Arsenal, though. Uh, Malcolm got his first goal for the club, which was really good to see. Uh, Alioski scored a penalty, and that was in between that. Adrian Silva got sent off, which helped our cause, obviously. Um, we then had a very disappointing defeat away at Liverpool. We couldn't really get anywhere near them. Nobody performed very well apart from Ayer. And yeah, it was it was just a, a real, real poor performance. It, it made me want to change a few things, to be honest. Um, I'm not changed system, but I have changed some of the uh, player in instructions and and uh, roles. I'll, I'll go through it briefly in a second. Uh, but and and I tested it against Man United. Tough team to test it to, and we did get a one 0 win. A much more solid, sound performance than against uh, Liverpool. Uh, Rob Holding popped up with a winner. Uh, but even if we hadn't, even if we had uh, drawn or lost the game, if you look at that, Malcolm got a, a better performance. Oh, yeah, it, was, it started very well actually. Oh, yeah, Andre Ivan got a good, good, good showing. The defence was very, very good, and I, uh, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm optimistic now. And I think if we go into our Champions League game, the groups have been drawn, as you can see. You may have uh, gathered who we are against, but we have, uh, we, we were the bottom seeded team in the divi in the division in the uh, in the league in the you know, in the league either in the competition. That's the one. So we were always going to have a tough group. And this isn't. This is probably one of the two groups I would have wanted. If you look above, there was that group looked looked decent. Galatasaray were the uh, the fourth seed in that, but Ajax and Anderlecht so an into a very good side. Obviously, you're not going to find a poor side in this uh, this competition. But I thought that they that looked the softest group, shall we say? That this group looks okay though. This is my second choice. Um, Benfica and Zenit are the teams that we'll probably need to have a. Uh, good games against to even have a chance at qualifying. I mean, really, the, the ambition is to not finish bottom. If we can do that, I'll be pleased. Uh, obviously, that means we'll then go into the Europa League as well, which is a, uh, a little bit of a, a hope of mine. Um, looking at the other groups, there was one really here that I was desperate to avoid, and this was Group E. I feel sorry for Copenhagen. Copenhagen. Um, Barcelona, Dortmund and Roma, no easy feat. And yeah, I think we've we have avoided some of the tougher groups. You know, there's there's groups where you think, yeah, there's two teams there that are just going to go straight through. Looking at that one, for example, Group D, Real Madrid, Arsenal, Shakhtar and Lazio have to do very well to get near them. So that's that's the uh, the groups as it as they stand. We're, the first game is away in Russia, and so it's a nice easy start. Um, now I did mention a very slight tactical change, so I'll just run through it quickly now. Um, I haven't done too much. I've just I've changed some of the instructions to do with the forward players, um, and, I've and I've moved Alioski out to the right hand side as an inside forward, um, and told him to stay wider and dribble more, cut inside, uh, shoot less often, and put in put in crosses to the centre of the pitch. Basically, um, I've asked. Uh, Malcolm to play a more free role, which is why he's, he's going to roam from position, get further forward, basically reducing his uh, defensive side of it really, and allowing him to go back where he wants. And he responded with a good performance, which is what I was, was after. And that was against Man United as well, so not the easiest team to make an impact against. But yeah, I am I'm, I'm optimistic now. And without further ado, we're going to get into this uh, this game. So you've seen the team there, but I'll, I'll run through it quickly for you now. It's uh, Pitford in goal, Norton, Janssen, Holding and Garbutt at the back, Ayer and Hoiberg in midfield, Alioski, Malcolm and Neto in behind Andre Ivan. Now Pedro Neto actually hasn't started the season very, very well. He's 6.6 .6 average, 
but he is a he's, he's only a young man. He is improving as well, which is which, is, which has really helped his cause. In, in, to be honest, in keeping him in the squad, he's a natural winger. He's only 19, and I feel like if he if he gets a couple of uh, goals or assists, and he'll have a he, he could really kick on, and that's what I'm hoping for. Right, so oh, their lineup. Oh, look at the that's a bit poor. The way that the uh, the the text clashes with the background. Cranvit, I think you can see there. Paredes, I don't know if even looking at this. Um, okay, I'm going to say, wait for me, I'm going to be calm. Good play about any pressure. Okay. Norton's relaxed, that's, that's something. Let's just address all of them and say, uh, yeah, I have faith in you. Okay, so defence and goalkeeper are happy and relaxed. Let's hope for that to uh, translate to a good defensive performance, shall we? This is our first game in the Champions League under under me. It's my first game for sure. Um, don't really. It, it's hard to know where you stand in terms of uh, European clubs. Oh, five minutes in, and Malcolm has got injured. What is he? What is the injury? It's a foot injury. That could be a bad one. Hopefully not, but it really, really could be. Uh, I'm going to bring on Bentica for him. That's a, it could be a big, big miss. The whole system really was kind of designed around him. Um, like what I've, the changes I've made have been about make, getting, trying to get the best out of him. So that is a. Uh, I hope that's not a serious injury. It might be. I hope it's just a bruised foot or something. Um, we clear the ball twice. Uh, Ivan knocks it down. Bentica is a bit slow to react. And uh, Naboa can uh, retrieve for him, for them. Uh, Mevli Mevlia, maybe? Uh, they work the ball into Cranvita. Uh, I'm not going to say that name. Oh, yeah, it makes a clearance, but only for Paredes. And they are working in, and that's a clear penalty. I don't know what Janssen's even thinking about there. I saw it before, before the referee even uh, blew his whistle. Just a silly, silly, silly boy. Our, our captain on the night, Pontus Janssen. And there's just no need. And now Pickford is uh, facing a penalty against Christian Naboa. And he can't save it, unfortunately. He went the right way, but uh, couldn't quite keep it out. So we go down a goal. Um, yeah, he went a bit bit central, really, the uh, the shot. Not great from our most, I would say, as I probably should be, our most dependable centre-back in, uh, in Janssen. We do have a corner though, Alyoski finds Ivan and he shoots and he scores. Andre Ivan gets his goal. A lovely, lovely uh, turn and finish from him. You can see the corner was cleared. Let's wait for the replay to load a second. So the corner came in from Hoiberg. It's, uh, it got cleared there by uh, Cochrane. Cochrane. I can't never say that name. And uh, I uh, retrieved it, played it into Alyoski and he took it, cut it inside a second and found Ivan and he took a touch and just swivelled and shot into that far corner. Keeper could not set himself, and we uh, we do equalise. That's uh, that's good to see equalising so early. Now then, what what are we doing here then? So they have the they have possession. Po Polos, Polos, Polos. I don't know. Small the carver can say that one. Janssen deals with the header, but it falls to uh, falls to them. Neboa has it. Cranvita into Polos into Corcoran. He moves backwards and uh, puts it out wide. And the Boa, Cranvita, it's a long highlight this one. And it ends up with a pretty wild shot there from uh, Cranvita. So it's not been a bad performance away from home in the Champions League. I will certainly take a point. Um, oh, I uh, can't be caught on the ball there. We get away with it. We do get away with it. Can't be caught on the, you know, that's the position where you just cannot give it away. You simply can't. We clear the corner, but we're not reacting very well. From when we, when the ball's dropping, it seems to always drop to their their men at the moment. We're not we're just not picking the ball up when when we clear it, and we are able to clear the initial one, and then and that's a goal, isn't it? Yeah. Just before half time, it's been coming these last uh, ten minutes or so. I said as soon as I said I was quite pleased with what what we've shown in this uh, this half. We just we we haven't looked like we haven't looked like we wanted to get near them. You see the ball is chipped in. The bow is a free header. Paredes then plays it across in Cochrane. I mean, it's just nobody anywhere near them. Nobody is anywhere near them. Hoiberg's having a poor game. I'm not impressed with what I saw from Ayer in that uh, that highlight. I, I may actually replace both of them. 
in this uh, this half time. I think I'm going to actually. Um, I'm going to say I'm not I'm not happy with it. Um, because losing this game really does put the pressure on us to try and finish. Because I think they are probably the, the the worst team other than us in this group. So for us to have a chance, we need to be, really get something against them. Uh, I'm going to change into a box to box midfield, Estoraro. Yeah, not been impressed with the midfield today. They, just, they looked a bit static, a little bit slow. Um, hopefully, we can uh, get an impact. And I, I am still in the back of my mind. I'm still worried about uh, Malcolm's injury. I hope it's not serious. Obviously, he's our big, our main man this year. I hope. Good tackle there from Morton. If he needs to just play it into Alioski, good. Now, if he can uh, find some space, okay, Bentecourt has it. Into Storaro. Nice quick inside, playing a nice ball over the top, and Andre Ivan is through, and Andre Ivan scores. Absolutely perfect. That is pretty much the, the absolute type of goal that we were scoring last year, and I'm pleased to see us scoring again this year. I have I have been a little worried, just from, just from the couple of games that we've played, is that we haven't looked the same as we uh, we did last year, but Alioski cuts inside, and it was maybe a bit of a hopeful ball, but it, over the top, it was the run was timed perfectly, and Ivan got onto it, and uh, knocked it into that far corner and that's the perfect start to the second half hopefully we can kick on from there now right there's about 15 minutes to play it looks like Smolnikov is going to get sent off here he put, he put in a foul there you just, he just saw a little trip on uh, Neto and yet he does get a second yellow and that gives us a, a real possibility now of uh, of maybe even snatching a win from this I wouldn't say we've been absolutely, we probably deserve it. Actually, we've made all three subs, haven't we? Because Malcolm's come off, so I can't really change much. But I'm going to leave it as it is. I really don't want to risk us losing the game. And away point is uh, is not bad. There's a highlight going on, though. Uh, Bentecourt has it. He finds Neto into Storaro. Plays it across to Alioski. Back to Norton. We can find it down the line again. That's good. And else we can get the ball across. He can. And Ivan is there for the hat trick. A Champions League hat trick on, well, I'd assume it's probably Ivan's Champions League debut. And we take the lead here. It's a 3 2 uh, scoreline. And that gives us a really, really good chance now. Because obviously, as, as I said, my aim is in this group to finish third. The board wanted just to reach the group. But the board aren't bothered, basically. They just said reach the group stage, which obviously we do automatically. So it, this is a free hit on the Champions League or Europe in general and it's a great 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 start for us considering the penalty we conceded early on Janssen actually recovered quite well from the uh, from that and then actually that's a second yellow or second red even so they're down to nine men Neboa got sent off um, there's a highlight going on here I'm not sure if this is just going to be the end of game just sort of petering out to nothing I, I hope so although Ivan has it he shoots and it finds its way into the bottom corner and Ivan has scored four goals and he scored all our four and that looked the uh, the poorest effort to me it looked like the keeper should have saved it but nine men Zenit two Leeds United four but it's been yeah it's been it's been a good performance I'd say it's it's not been vintage it's not been it's not been amazing we've given away some oh, we're giving away two two very poor goals but since uh, well, since Vieira and Huber came on, we haven't seen anything anything from them, and we maybe have another one. And Storaro just fires it over, and we are probably a few seconds away from the final whistle. And there it is, the Andre Ivan show uh, is brought to an end. You can see there it was actually quite a tight game. We had lots of shots, but not enough on target really. Okay, so I'm going to give the team talk here. That was really special. You played magnificently. Congratulations. Everyone is happy. I'm, I'm obviously very, very pleased. And yeah, that brings to an end to an episode, guys. So uh, I switched to ankle, so we're out for four weeks. So that's that's not ideal. Um, we don't really have anybody in the team that does what he does in terms of how he plays. Um, but Bentecourt will have to have to step up and uh, and show his show his, uh, show his worth. So the next game is always a very tough one against uh, Chelsea. I think the next game I will bring you will be this Bayern Munich game. Or, Bayern Munich away game. Um, I expect us to lose heavily, but I think you know when you play Bayern, you, you've got to. I've, I've got to show it to you, Enza. And it's about the right distance between the games. So yeah. 
So you can look forward to that, our next uh, next European game, a good start for us. And in fact, it's a pretty good start to the season after that horrific start. In fact, if, if, we'd, if we'd gotten something in that game, I'd say it'd be a really good start to the season. But uh, we lie in 14th because of those two defeats and the uh, uh, negative goal defeats we'll need to try and uh, correct. But I think after the game against Chelsea, it starts to look a little bit easier. I mean, Wolves are a tough team in this, uh, well, for us anyway, they seem to be. Tottenham tough team, yeah. It's a, it is a horrendous start to the season we've we've had in terms of the fixtures, but we've dealt with them quite well. Um, I'm hoping that the changes I've made will continue to have an impact. And yeah, um, that will bring us to the end of this episode, guys. If you have enjoyed it, please leave a like. Our first ever Champions League game uh, of the series. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more. Uh, follow me on Twitter, of course, at DLCDave1. And until next time, guys, I'll talk to you guys later. Goodbye.